Hey guys, we're back again. This time we're making a quick video on some questions we've had regarding our compressed air systems. First thing we're going to show you is how to terminate the line with a dual manifold outlet. Here's our existing line. We've got our pressure regulator right up top here. Uh, coming over to here, this is where we've designated we're going to put our manifold. Uh, a couple things. We've got a stud that runs right through here, so it allows us to get a real good bite here. On this side, if you don't have that option, you're going to have to make sure you use hollow wall anchors or another way to secure it effectively. All right, let's talk tools, one of my favorite subjects. We've got a drill motor here that's going to be a variable use throughout the, in, the entire installation. We've got a step drill, it's an easy way to actually remount the inside of the pipes. Stud finder, got to find the studs, make sure it's a real secure installation. This is for deburring the inside of any type of orifice, so the, on the tubes or actually any holes that we're going to cut. Here's the reamer, it's actually used for reaming the inside of pipes out and the outside of the pipe. Tape measure pretty standard. You got a tubing cutter for making all of our cuts. Hollow wall anchors. Don't forget it. If you can't find a stud, make sure you use something to attach it securely. We've got a 916 hole saw. That'll be used for later. You can stay tuned on that one. A spanner wrench for snugging down all of our fittings. A level, a little bit of lubricant. So we've mounted our dual outlet right here, which is a perfect location for us. It's right between a couple pieces of machinery. It's going to give us good air access to this side of the shop. We chose this location for another reason. We've got a stud that runs straight up the side here, so it gives us a good, solid, secure mounting location. And we've installed it about 48 inches off the ground. Uh, that may be dependent upon what you want for your shop. We've installed just a section of pipe and ran it up. Uh, this will allow us to get a, you know, a good perpendicular line so that we can measure the top line. All right, so we've uh, marked our pipe and we have the locations. This is a tubing cutter. Man not mandatory, but definitely desirable for any type of cutting of tubing. It leaves a really clean, easy line. All you do is you continuously apply a little bit of pressure at a time. You don't want to really cinch down the tool. You just want to work it slowly. And how this works is it leaves a really nice, clean cut. And that's what you really want to start with. We've got a few different options for how to clean up this end. We've got a standard deburring tool. You can take and you can twist and rotate. And that's going to clean up this internal edge. Flip it around and you get the external edge. That leaves a really nice taper there. A couple other tools you could use. The burning tool, you rotate it around and it actually cuts the inside and deburs here. If we're going to be doing a lot of tubing, a step drill really makes things easy. All you're going to do is hold the pipe, give it a couple spins, take off any last minute things. And you can see you've got a really nice clean cut. I thought I'd take this time to show you the fittings, what they're made of, and how easy they are to install. So you've got your body. This is your seal. Pusher. Grip ring. And cap. So we're going to go ahead and assemble those real fast. So we take our seal. It's been lightly oiled. Make sure that it slides in there really nicely. Pusher, put the grip ring inside the cap, and you tighten it down. Now you want to make sure that you don't really tighten this down tight, you leave it nice and loose. We've got our pipe here, where the end has been prepped. Take it in, you can hear it bottom out. Now we're going to hand tighten it, and with our spanner, Grab it and give it a good snug. All right, so we've got our pipes all cut and cleaned up. Uh, now we're gonna mount our, our bracket. So you can take a look, the bracket has the mounting screw directly through it. We're gonna go ahead and
nice, tight, and secure. Let's assemble our pipe here real quick. Make sure as you insert, you bottom the fitting out. Just tighten up lightly at the moment. Just do hand tight. We're going to come back later with the spanner and really cinch it up good. snaps in nice and tight. Here's our drill outlet. As you can see we've already, you know, I've already installed the hollow wall anchors and again the side had the stud so we're good there. Go ahead and place it in. Now we're pretty well secure right there. All right guys, so we've got everything installed and looking good. Let's say we changed our mind or uh, maybe at a later date we want to add some more airlines to our shop. It makes it real easy with this system. So what we're going to do here, we're going to come up top, change out this L for a T. Grab our next section of pipe and extend it on and take it down to wherever you need it. All right, so we've got our finished project right here. We've got a dual manifold outlet. It's fantastic. It's right where we need it. We've got air in all this side of the shop. Take a look at these uh, safety couplers. So you've got your line. Super easy to put in. Look at that. Hit the button once. It releases the pressure. You hit the button twice the line comes out. Compare that to your fittings that you're using now. These also have draining outlets. So go ahead and release. Release the air. Releases any moisture that's trapped in the lines. Beautiful finish. Done.